Hello and welcome to episode 15 of series 7 of Master League Story Mode. This is all good vibes this episode, all good vibes. We've already been promoted, we still have an opportunity to win the league and then it's everyone's favourite time of the year. It's transfer window opening time, that's not what it's called is it? But anyway, we're going to crack straight into it and actually we've got a hell of a task ahead of ourselves to build a team worthy of the Premier League when we're going to be losing three starting players at least two starting players we've got a hell of a lot of work to do we need to be buying selling scouting and it begins today let's get into it we'll get onto that let's not get into the transfers yet as exciting as it is and we love the transfer window Let's first focus on this game, shall we? So let's just get into it. Let's get this one played. Let's take a look at the sides here for the fight. Oh my god. Oh no, okay. It's a. It's <laughs> Always catches me off guard. Always. Every single time. You see that flashing arrow, even though it was green. Always see that arrow, and I think, ah, we've got a. Uh, got a dramatic improvement on our hands. A dramatic improvement on Ashley Fletcher would have been really quite interesting. So final game of the season, and uh, I'm very happy to say that we will be coming out to a rapturous applause from the Tanners faithful at the Michael Caine Arena, already promoted. Now all we do is enjoy ourselves, and added bonus, hopefully we get to smash our rivals at home as already a Premier League team. It, everything just works here, it's brilliant. Definitely gonna start Jerry Nomani up top. As much as we'd like to win the league, I'd still say that's still an outside chance. I think we can win this game even with our second stream, to be honest. So uh, I think we're going to give some of the players who've maybe not had a look in, but have, you know, club legendary status, they're going to get some minutes today. So Jamie Mackey's going to start on the right hand side. From the depths of the Ishmian League, I don't know how many times I've said that this series, but many, many times. We've made it, we've done it. Now, we can enjoy ourselves. And Big Jerry Nomani, club legend. Jamie Mackey, club legend. They're going to get a run out today. It's got a, a real party feel here, a celebratory feel at the Michael Caine Arena. Oh, we, I can't believe we did it. I can't believe... We were really looking for top six playoffs. Playoffs was the goal. And even that at the beginning of the season seemed unlikely. We put together some really good early form and then just carried on, didn't we? So whilst the rain falls here at the Michael Caine Arena. It will not dampen the spirits of these Leatherhead fans. The unlikely, the impossible has become a reality. We've made it to the Premier League. And now we can enjoy ourselves. It's so lovely to have this final game and look at them there. The, oh, just the singing, the, the pride, the pride in your town. You can feel it emanating. Um, and there is Hunter, player manager, who has been the custodian of this side, bringing them from uh, League One all the way now up to the Premier League as manager and player. Impressive, impressive stuff here. No Garden of Honor there from Millwall. No class. No class at all. So here we are. Huge applause there for club legend Jerry Nomani substituted here. 11 minutes left. We're torn between wanting to win the league if we can versus wanting Jerry Nomani to score. It's a difficult, difficult one, of course, for the hunter, hunter the manager. But really, we have to make sure we give ourselves an opportunity to win the league if it is on. Brereton unleashes the pace down this right-hand side. Fletcher's there with him. You can make a run if you like, Ashley. Brereton's going all the way. The Chilean here will lay it back. It is chair into the box. <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> well, the pace of Brereton created that. And Ilias Chair jumps into the crowd. Final day here. Will it have been enough? Will it have been enough for us to win the league? Who knows? But we've done what we needed to do. And there we have it. 89th minute. We bought on the uh, the big players. And one of them, Ben Brereton, just used his fresh pace there. He can outpace anyone at the best of times. But after a full 90 against the best side in the league, these Millwall players were never getting close. It's a clever pick out as well to find Ilias Chair in a good spot. Keeper maybe should have done better. But there we are. Well, if Watford failed to win today, that would have been a crucial, crucial goal. Well, there we are. I'm guessing by the muted celebrations here that news has already come through from Watford that we've not done it, we've not won the league. But there is Hunter. What an incredible season for him. Player manager. Um, 
I don't think anyone expected him to be a player manager permanently, for that to be a position that would last any longer than a few months. That was the original plan. It was an interim position. But now, months later, he finds himself heading up still the management team and also playing. And look at that. Adoration from the fans. The hometown boy, born and raised in Leatherhead, now dragging them by the coattails in to the top league in world football. It's a fairy tale story. And I'm so, so proud. Chair getting the goal there. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it was enough. Maybe we should have just kept Nemanja on. But there we are. Can't really, uh, can't really be too mad at that, can we? Second place. We'll absolutely take that. Absolutely take that. So Watford, 4-0 against Stoke. Yeah. Well, we'll see them in the Premier League next season. Who's going to go up there? Well... Bournemouth, Norwich, Blackburn and Cardiff. Huddersfield missing out in the playoffs. That's unlucky. They were great all season. They were there or thereabouts for most of the year. Brentford as well. That's a shame. That's a real shame. But there we have it. Well, best 11 to be announced. Place your bets now. Ooh, only two. Only two. Well, there's some incredible players in there, aren't there, really? <laughs> if you look at that. I mean, Emi Buendia, of course. Big Wazza's in there. Lerma was amazing. We played against him. Josh King, of course. Only one Watford player is surprising, considering that they walked the league. They must have been just a, a great team performance. Must have been. So there we have it. Well, now the fun can really begin. Who is our highest average rating player this season? So 6.3. Fletcher, 6.3. Hester Cook, 6.3. Balogun, 6.3. Brereton 6.4, just sneaking in at the bottom there. <laughs> oh, lovely work, BB King. What a king he is. 17 goals in 35 appearances. Wow. More, is that one in every two? Just about one goal in every two games. Pretty impressive from a winger. Uh, Danny Rowe with the most assists this season. Yeah, 11 for Danny Rowe. Is he good enough for the Premier League? I'd say probably not. But again, I think we're about to see that we're going to have a bit of a crisis of... Uh, of, of players leaving and not having the right quality in the right areas. I think he may end up starting in the Premier League. 16 and 9 for Fletcher. He's a bit of a meme. A bit of a meme, but he's done all right. Balogun, 12 goals in 31 appearances. Not bad from him. Joswiak with a 6.1. He only played 11 games and got one goal and three assists. That's not bad in 11 games. You can see why he got such a high rating there. So there we are. A good team, good squad. We built a really good squad. What I think we'll do now is just quickly cut to the, the formation builder and start putting this together, shall we? Because I think this will be quite interesting, just to look at the squad depth that we've got. So there we have it. Some pretty obvious areas that need improving. I'm going to write this down. So first thing that we have to look at for definitely is a DMF, because we don't have one. And I think it is crucial to this team. So DMF has to be our priority, definitely. So we need a DMF, 100% need a DMF. And then it's down to looking at strength in depth. I'm happy, centre-backs, oh, we need a keeper. Definitely need a keeper. I would say keeper is probably second spot. Ideally, that should be Jason Steele because let's not forget how important he was for us this, de this season. Um, it's good to, uh, it could come down to who's available as a free transfer. That's likely to be a big deciding factor. Um, centre forwards I'm pretty happy with if we have to go with those two plus BB King to start us off in the Premier League I don't think that's a concern necessarily Danny Rowe maybe isn't good enough to start in the Premier League but he probably will no we definitely need a second left back this is like the most boring positions that we've got to sort out here um, but yeah DMF goalkeeper left back are our first three to look at and then we need a versatile midfielder and then so that's four players and then if we had an uh, hunter and lima aren't good enough for the premier league they're gonna get absolutely destroyed by <laughs> oh some of the left wingers they're gonna come up against <laughs> hunter is gonna be exposed <laughs> in a horrible horrible way but We've only going to have so much salary budget to work with here. Um, we do want another attacking midfielder. I don't think Ilya... It's so important to the side. I don't know if Ilya's chair alone is enough there, but... I mean, that's that's probably... Once we've signed those first four players, I guess then it goes... 
AMF or right back and then and then we can enjoy ourselves <laughs> that's five players that we absolutely have to sign there's no question about it in my mind we need five new players that's the list okay so we're going Italy young left back in Italy goalkeeper I think we'll be able to find DMF yeah Italian DMF that's got to be it's got to be a good one there surely um, let's go I hate to do anything other than still developing so I'm gonna go still developing I think that might find us the uh, the verse the utility mid anyway they, they off there's often an overlap there and then um, I'm gonna keep scouting in the UK for an attacking midfielder a young attacking midfielder there we go right see how we get on with that we can all, we will have time to change that let's keep cracking on shall we we've had another job offer oh interesting interesting Who's it going to be? Oh, Watford. <laughs> I love I love it. I love how weird it is sometimes. Uh, oh, a trip to Brazil would be interesting. They, they've offered us a contract extension there. Phew. For a second there, my heart just, just, just slightly broke. But, you know, they're always going to offer that, surely. So, executive officer. We'll assume this is Big Mickey Kane. I don't, often, I don't often get the chance to chat with you, but when I do, I love it when it's good news. That's Tim Sherwood again, isn't it? Here's the amount we're adding to the war chest. 7.2 mil. All right, that's good. That's good. Better than nothing. It'd be better if it was in the salary budget, but it won't be, will it? It'll just be in the transfer budget. Oh, no. Salary budget's gone up. Perfect. Salary budget looking very healthy there. Um... That's good. That's going to really help us with our free agent shopping. That's massive. Almost to the point where we might need... Oh, because it's all in there. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> oh, no, that's good. That's good. Salary budget is harder to come by. And free agents are a big part of our strategy. That, that was totally, totally done on purpose. So, oh, Bournemouth. Triumphing in the playoffs. Sheffield... Palace and West Brom back down into uh, into the championship. So into the uh, into the offices here. Back with Angry Phil Collins still on the fucking phone. Like to discuss this season's objectives. All right, no problem. No problem at all. A realistic goal for it be for us to avoid relegation. One day we'll compete for the top spots, but this season we need to bide our time, and maintain our place. What do you think? I don't agree. I think we can finish in the top half of the league. Hundred percent. Champions League would be nice. I don't think we're going to do that, but I think we can finish top half. We're ballsy here. I hate waiting until the final game of the season to know if we're going down or staying up. Let's make sure we finish somewhere in the top half of the league. Specifically, I think eighth has a nice ring to it. Wouldn't you agree? Well up for that. Yeah, eighth spot sounds great. Is Hunter back on the hooch? <laughs> He's making some big claims here. What's he got in that coffee cup? Who knows? Who knows? Player departures. Ugglemba, goodbye. Back to Scotland with you. He was all right. Decent backup. Craig McGee, that's a tough one. That is a really tough one. He was great for us. Um, back to Everton, though. Bradley Johnson will not be missed. But the man of steel. Oh, raise your lighters for the man of steel. Let's see. Adabi up to 74. Love it. Let's just check our team. Anyone sniffing around? Brereton, yes, there's lots of people sniffing around. Fletcher, we do have a bid in for him. That's quite an interesting one, Fletcher. I think we're pretty good for money, though, really. All right, let's go and take a look at the free transfers. This could be make or break for us here, really. Okay, what have we got? Anything new in here? No, fuck all. Sweet fuck all. <laughs> Charlie Daniels would be quite a fun left back to have. Was expecting more here, to be honest. <laughs> Was expecting better. <laughs> Was expecting much better. Hmm. Okay. Rebuild the career of Drinkwater. Now, that's... Not a bad shout. Uh, lacking in pace a little bit, but... Good passer. Decent ball winning and aggression. Drinkwater might be an interesting choice. Leighton Baines. Leighton Baines! There's our left back, everyone. <laughs> oh, no, he's 75 rated shit. Could, could happen, though. He could go down. A Darabio could go up. That's tempting. Uh, what we could do... It's not impossible that we could find some non-English free transfers who have got some sort of connection. 
Anyone in here that we recognise? Samir Nazri. Arsenal. Arsenal connection there. That's tempting. <laughs> that is very tempting. <laughs> I don't think bringing in Drinkwater and Nazri is maybe the right feel for this squad, but he's still got some, some bits there. And still do it. Where's Steely Dan? There he is. 31 years old. He's not first choice at Brighton. Does he have a 383 grand release fee? <laughs> They're trying to give him away. We've got to bring him in, haven't we? We could probably do slightly better. Quite a lot better. John Ruddy, maybe. But no, we love the Man of Steel. Steel, though. Got to have him. He would welcome a move to our club. Of course he would. So we can uh, shortchange him there. We're not going to give him too much money. Give him a clean sheet bonus, of course. But the price of steel is cheap at the moment. That's good. That's that. I think that's probably that sorted. Lovely work. So, English left-backs could see some good stuff in here, I reckon, actually. Where is Misha Jamali? He is English, isn't he? He's not 69 rated, is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, he is 69 rated. I mean, we would never sign him, would we? He's 21 years old. He is still improving. He will likely improve quite a lot in the next two or three years. I mean, there's always the, the emotional attachment that we're going to have to players like him that got us here, been with the club for such a long time. Yeah, De Silva is a good option. He is quite low release fee. Can play in a lot of different positions. Is he left-footed? He is left-footed, yeah. He's quite tall as well. He's good, actually. He is good. With Brentford missing out on promotion, that makes a lot of sense. Well, we will happily release... Uh, Go with the release fee. He wants a lot of money. We might have to break the bank here again. We've got the cash to do this now. We need to be start flashing this money around now. Throwing our weight. We'll go with that. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong screen. Sorry. Yeah, good shout. I've just uh, put the bid in for drink water. So that is, uh, that's that's in the running now. Don't need another centre back. Leighton Baines though is tempting, isn't it? I'm sure we'll get to 75. Let's add him to the list. Could we sign Sarah Chat? I mean, I'm sure we could. 72 rated. Yeah, we can now. Why is he 72 rated? 70 finishing. 23 years old now. He's quick. For an attacking mid, he is quick. Decent passing. We would like a Buran player. 7 mil release fee is pretty hefty, isn't it? 84 pace, though, is pretty impressive for an attacking mid. It's got decent ball control with it. The dribbling's pretty poor, though, considering that pace. I would just like a tie player in the Premier League. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get it in there. He's not convinced. He's not convinced. How are you not? Premier League club, mate. If you don't want to come, you don't want to come. But I would like a Buran player. Ah, oh, well, strong positive start there. Four days in, we've got a few options on the bench. I think a lot of them aren't gonna go through, to be honest. I'm really worried about bids coming in. Yeah, Garner breaks down. I'm not surprised by that. Uh, so does Silver. Silver will go through. That's fine. Big salary, but that's durable. I think De Silva's a, a must sign, really. Like the look of him. Adaptable. Could play in the Hester Cook role. Could play at left back. Yeah, he'd be great. Garner just didn't didn't ever feel like it was going to happen. Drink water. Yep, yeah, that's a go if we want him. Sarah Chat. Just asking for a bit more salary. I'm tempted by Sarah Chat. That's purely for the Borough Ram link. We'll probably find better. And Steely Dan. Ah, oh, broken Dan. What? We only offered him a year. Didn't we? Come on. Mate. Steely. Well, I think we'll go back in for Steel. I'm just not over the moon with any of these, really. De Silver, I think, is, is great. Right? We have to sign him. I'm just confused as to where we'll play him. At the moment, he sl slots in alongside Hester Cook. Drink water is an adaptable cover. I think we do need to sign him as well. 284,000. We'll bring his experience in. All right, let's do it then. De Silva. Yep, big first signing there. De Silva comes in, breaking the salary budget record by an absolute <laughs> fucking mile. Could that cause some disharmony? Could that ruin the harmony in the changing room? Possibly. It's a hell of a lot of money, but our first Premier League signing is a really exciting one. We've poached him from the Championship. Danny Drinkwater, on the other hand, nice small wage. And we're going to bring him in. No transfer fee. 
still got 7.5 mil in the salary budget. I'm so pleased we went salary budget. I was expecting more free transfer offers. Oh, I'm on the wrong page again. Shit. Um, so Danny Drinkwater done. 284,000 in there. Uh, Eli, technically we can have Brazil links through Michael Caine because he was in a movie with Pele. <laughs> I like that. I do like that. That should at least allow us Santos, shouldn't it? At least. Oh, it's Big Danny. There he is. Well, we've bought in a Premier League winner. That's the first thing you do when you want to win the Premier League, isn't it? You look for a uh, experience of people who've done it. And Danny Drinkwater. His career has taken a bit of a hit, but he's only 31 years old. And in this position, we're bringing in an England international Premier League winner. Danny Boy. I think he's going to be great for us. Does he start at DMF? For now, yes, I think he does. Alongside Hester Cook, he's going to give him so much of his experience. He's really going to help him improve. And he's going to provide some laser-guided passes all around at the pitch. So Leatherhead will be very pleased with that signing, I'm sure. Came on on a free transfer, of course. Um, wages nice and reasonable, uh, which is, cannot be said for De Silva. Okay, so they're actually both good at DMF. I think maybe De Silva starts. It's interesting that we've signed two players for the same position, but I'm not, not mad at that because we've got a left back here. Let's compare the two. So defensively, Drinkwater is better. He's a better passer. De Silva's much more athletic, stronger. De Silva's a 70 rated left back. He can play. He plays everywhere, but I don't think he's going to start. Why did we sign him? <laughs> Why did we spend. Oh, that's, that is. That was a mistake. We're never going to finish eighth if we spend money on players who want half a million. How do you compare to Jamiley? Oh, he's, he's way better than Jamiley. He's just not good defensively. He's more aggressive. Same ball winning. Really, he has to start ahead of Jamiley. He's just a much, much better player. He's quicker, stronger, better stamina, much better passer. Defensive awareness is slightly less, which is a shame. He's got all of that. He's got weighted pass, outside colour, low lofted pass, interception. Really, he has to start a left back, doesn't he? And then drink water has to go there. I don't want to drop Jamiley. Look at that, already down to 76. This is going to be the problem as well. If we make big changes, we're going to suffer when it comes to team spirit. Anyway, uh, still massively lacking a keeper, aren't we? Well, we've sorted, sort of sorted left back. DMF and versatile midfielder, so not too unhappy there. It's a good rotation option, definitely. Brereton starts, so that's good. Back up to 79. And we probably need a better right back, yeah. I think that's got to be on the list, hasn't it, really? Realistically. Realistically, everyone has to be 70 rated in the Premier League. Danny Rowe, oh, we may have to change him as well. I think Balogun starts for me. Oh, no, maybe not. Just checking there's no one that's just still hanging around in here that we might be interested in signing. Moose up top. He's really good, actually. And he can play on the right. Should not skip past him, really. Good on the ball. Very quick. Strong, good balance. He's tall. <sighs> Definitely worth keeping around. Suddenly our transfer budget is looking a little bit <laughs> worrying. But we can always sell players. Looks like we might be able to get him pretty cheaply here. Worth a punt, just while we've got him around. I like that he's got 76 finishing, and he's very, very quick, and he's tall. Ashley Fletcher's not really impressed us that much, has he? So, wouldn't be crazy to think that a new striker who can also play on the wing might be a good shout. We'll allow ourselves a little look. We know there are some great players at Santos. They always popped up when we were looking, uh, when we were scouting in Brazil with Ponte Preta. They've got some great young players. Uh, Allison, whoa, that is a dist wow. Now that is the sort. That is what we're looking for in a DMF, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no release fee. That is what we're looking for there. That is what we're looking for. What a player he would be. Absolutely perfect. We want this guy. How much do we need to offer? We can only offer two million. <laughs> would you accept a lightly used Joswiak? <laughs> and some money. <laughs> I want this guy so much. He's an absolute animal. 
He's not impressed with our negotiations, but we're, we're willing to offer him big money. So I don't think we're going to get this anywhere else. This sort of quality. <laughs> That's not going to work, is it? That's a complete waste of time. <laughs> um, we do still have Sarajat as an option. That's again, would be another quite poor decision, I think, on my half, on my behalf. Samir Nasri is tempting as a free transfer option. He's not going to get played, though, is he? Um, Steel, though, we want him. We want him. We're not giving up here. We can offer you 230. And we'll give you an absolutely stonking clean sheet bonus there. Uh, so, Muse. Muse is, is, is on for another 1.5 mil. It's quite a lot. Oh, Alison's worked. <laughs> okay. Alison. Shit. Joswiak out, new DMF in. <laughs> that's all of the um that's all of the midfielders we need. I do want Alison. Steel is accepted. Good. Ferguson's declined. Dramatic. Dramatic stuff there. Let's see. Let's quickly check that we found one attacking midfielder who's a right winger. <laughs> They're not play attacking midfielders in Italy. Italy was the worst choice. Why did I I take full responsibility for that? So Ferguson didn't happen. Muse, that'd be like a, a really nice luxury signing at the end of the window if we need it. Alisson for no transfer fee. Big wage, but my goodness, he's gonna be the the bulldog, the bully that we need, a destroyer there. He can play. Centre back as well, and central midfield. And Steele, that's a definite. I think we can all agree though, Alisson's a great signing. The Brazilian there with the Pele link through Michael Caine. <laughs> that's one of my favorite links of all time, actually. It makes sense. It's not mental, but it just makes sense. He's a good passer as well, actually. He's only 28 years old. He looks like he's been through a few wars. All right, let's sign Alisson then. Joswiak out, Allison in. Wow. Midfield has been massively strengthened. I mean, we did. DMF was priority number one. It was the first first position that we needed to um, sign a player for. We've signed three now. We've signed Drinkwater, who can play there, De Silva, who can play there, and left back. And we've now signed Allison. Drinkwater, Allison can both play in central midfield as well. I feel like we need a creative central midfielder or an attacking midfielder as well for that midfield three to be totally bulletproof for the season with rotation, all that sort of stuff. Um, but I'm happy there, I'm happy with that. Steele, of course, comes in. We could have signed a better keeper, probably, but we love him. He was instrumental last season. But we have really strengthened there in the midfield. Very pleased with that. That midfield is gonna be um, Allison, Hester Cook, Chair to start, drink water. Will unfortunately be warming the bench. It's going to be De Silva and uh, Jamali fighting for that left back spot, but we've got options now. For these two players, we've now got four that would be happy to start. We do now need to replace Joswiak. Definitely, like, massively need to replace Joswiak. We need a right winger, a right back. We don't need a keeper now. Right winger, right back, and then we can just enjoy ourselves. <laughs> Let's remind ourselves of the list. So we've done. DMF, tick, tick, tick. Jason Steele, big tick. Left back, yeah, we've got a left back, tick. Versatile mid slash utility player. Um, that is De Silva, isn't it? So that's a tick. AMF and right back. That needs to be on two separate lines because that is crucial. So we need AMF, right back. We now need a right winger. And I mean that actually right winger is now more important than AMF. AMF is now down there. <laughs> this has got confusing all of a sudden. And then probably centre forward at the bottom. So there we are, a decent start to our transfer window. Our life in the Premier League is going to begin with three new midfielders. We had a gap that needed to be plugged and we plugged it. Join me on Friday for another live stream. Uh, there will be a lot missing from this episode that you didn't see, which happened in the live stream, which was mainly me looking for attacking midfielders. 
um, which we don't need. But actually, maybe we do need, but it'd be great to see you on Friday at 9 p.m. as we've still got, as we saw, four signings that need making. And then we're going to be into the Chelsea game. First game of the season is an absolutely huge one that's going to be a real test of our new-ish side. So yeah, if you can join me for that, it would be great. It's, just, it's really good fun in the live streams at the moment. Really good community of people. And uh, if you can't, then I hope you're enjoying these episodes. Obviously, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in a bit.